make us a little video real quick. We got some calves here. Uh, 330 weight heifers when they came in about a week and a half ago now. Um, we just doctored this one right here looking at a 73 yesterday. Um, there's the other half of them. 91 came in total. That one there, Mr. Snotty Nose got doctored the other day. I have to watch it a little closer. Um, these calves came out of central Florida. And they cost a little just right under six hundred dollars uh, a head delivered here to us. Um, the market has come down quite a bit since we purchased these. Uh, so you're looking at three weeks ago that they started buying them till you know from today, and since then the market has just can just tanked. This half of the calves were mass treated with Draxin. This half were mass treated with Zeprevo. Um, we have these calves, uh, they got here about 3 o'clock on a, on a Saturday afternoon. The next day... I wanted to I wanted to mass treat them. We did not get to. We had uh, uh, we like to let our calves rest for a full day. We probably should have just masked them that day uh, that they got here. But we were we branded over a hundred headed calves that afternoon when these calves came in. So uh, we were really busy that day. They got here the next day. We had to move cows off corn circles. Uh, there were 200 cows, we moved them a couple miles, and they half kevved by then. It was a nightmare. Uh, so we were going to come do these calves about 3 o'clock that afternoon, but the wind was 60 miles an hour at that point. And so you couldn't even stand to be in the pens at all, because the dirt was blowing so hard. Uh, it was just miserable. And... We did not get them done. The next day, we went to do it the next uh, next morning, and it was it was pretty rough. Uh, the calves were doing good. We we had two calves that died that day. I mean, that was just that's how that was. Uh, so, you know, whether we'd gotten to them earlier, who knows. Um, if it had, would have changed anything or not. Uh, but they, the wind is, has been extremely hard on the calves. These calves especially, I mean, you're figuring almost two, two hour, or 24 hours on a truck, 40 hours on a truck, something like that. Uh, that's pretty rough on them. A couple, you know, four or five days to get them all bought up and put into one location. And so we, you know, whether it was our fault, we screwed up. We had two of them die. Had about two days later, had one that was really, really sick. We doctored it. She's still alive. I don't, I don't know how she's even alive at all. She's in a different barn. Um, but. Really, the only ones right now I'm generally concerned with are uh, that 55 that I showed you on this side and the 73 that we doctored yesterday. I'm kind of looking at her, kind of wondering if that's going to help at all. Um, I've been doctoring with uh, Resfloor and Exceed is what I've been giving these calves. And so far, that's been very successful on our calves. These calves really need to be out of this barn, but we've had so much wind 
that it's it's actually really hard on these little cattle. It's pretty bad when you have wind that bad that it can affect these cattle. Uh, these calves have a little more dust on this side. Um, I cleaned this side of the barn out and my dad had cleaned this side out. And I cleaned the majority of it out and he came to finish it and he actually took it down too far to dirt. And we haven't had many cattle in here and we haven't put straw out since then. So we got some dust on this side. I've doctored more cattle from the Draxon side. I've pulled uh, three head from this side and five, at least five or six from that side. I've only doctored about 10 head. Um, which is pretty good. Um, usually you'll, you'll see a lot of guys when they mass, mass treat, they figure on doctoring 20 to 30% after they mass treat. So you're figuring 130% treatment rate. Um, it all, it all just kind of factors in your death loss. You figure that you could lose, uh, if you don't mass treat and you lose 10% and you doctor 50% or you mass treat and you lose 5% or 3% and you doctor and you uh, treat 130% of your calves, it's all, it's really just a numbers, what, what a number is acceptable to you. Um, honestly, 55 concerns me looking at her today. It's colder today. Um, we maybe, maybe have some rain moving in. We have not had an inch of moisture since the 30th of September. But look at her, she's just kind of derping right there. I'm not real happy with that. I'll pull her this afternoon, redoctor her. Um, these guys need to get out of this barn. It's one, it's one thing I've, we're finding is this barn is fantastic for keeping cattle out of the elements, but. You're also confining them to be right next to each other, and that's that in itself is its own problem. But without this barn, our death loss on these calves would be just ridiculous because uh, our weather has been so so terrible. And it's it's not that you know it's just this wind. It's we it's so dry here, and there's so much dust, and the wind's blowing, and it. It's just, uh, it's not good for calves. It's terrible for calves. But these ones came out of Florida. Um, you know, we're recording each calf that gives a shot. Um, who's getting multiple shots. And uh, which, you know, which mass treatment works better. I'll probably try Zach Tran on a different bunch. But, uh, and we're going to kind of go from there. But. Just kind of giving you a heads up. I've got calves that came out of East Texas that have been out in the feed pens uh, where I used to always bring in calves that have not had this protection and they're doing fine. I'm going to go, actually going to go doctor one right now. So that'd be about three of those calves. So there was 35 of those that came in. So that'd be 10% doctoring rate. I haven't lost one of those yet. Uh, bigger calf, more expensive calf, but when you, when we're kind of looking at it as far as just, uh, dollars per head, um, we'll just have, we're going to run them separately and we're just going to have to see, uh, whether the cheaper calf that we mass treat, and, I mean, we've lost 2% of them so far. I would be surprised if we're not, if we can walk away without losing 5%. Just just after looking at uh, the calf on this side, and I know the calf that's in the barn, and and uh, how, they, how they all react with each other. Um, we're nowhere near out of the woods as far as death loss on them. So, just, just fun fun being in the business. Uh, stay tuned and I'll kind of let you know what happens.